Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Live right here on SABC3. Yeah, it's a Wednesday morning, mm -hmm. and in case you didn't know it, it's International Brain Teaser Month. Yes. And if you have a look at our Facebook page, we gave you quite a nice brain teaser early on. In fact, let me let me give it to you again while you just try and think about it, figure it out. We, we've been discussing among each other. So there it is. It's the first I threw away the outside yeah. and cooked the inside. Then I ate the outside and threw away the inside. So what did I eat? That is a very, Ooh. very interesting brain okay. teaser. I'm still trying to figure it out. So if you are too, uh, let us know what you have. Freeze. Okay, uh, <laughs> hashtag Express for Show. You can find us on social media. But let's talk about stuff happening in and around the Mother City. We're talking about the Cape Town Jazzathon, which is fondly known as the People's Festival. And it's a four day long music festival celebrating its 23rd anniversary at the VNA Waterfront Amphitheatre from the 9th of January till the 12th. And this music festival allows local jazz lovers the opportunity to experience jazz culture <coughs> by any means necessary. And we're joined by Festival Director Craig Parks. Craig, a very good morning to you. Happy New good Year. Good morning. Happy New Year. Compliments of the season, they Absolutely say. To you. Happy Jazz Year. Happy, <laughs> happy Jazz Year. Okay. Yes. Happy yeah. Jazz Year. It's it's jazz. Jazz. It's the National Day of Jazz celebrated in Cape Town this oh, season. Yeah. Excellent. This is fantastic. And that's why we're eating off of the bang. <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about the, the Jazzathon mm. celebrating its 23rd anniversary. That, that speaks years. volumes of the success of two decades. 20, uh, two decades, it's gone through a whole rigmarole of things. We've, um, we've got young musicians who have started with us many years ago who are, are there today. We've got new, young and upcoming musicians. We've got beautiful uh, female artists coming to, to join us. So we've really got an amazing... Uh, lineup of musicians and a long history of, of the event. Yeah. Uh, 20 years of toil. Uh, we've, we've seen musicians like Cameron Ward, who's here today, uh, get a guitar from uh, the late, the, sorry, the great Jimmy Ludlu. Yes. Mm. Jimmy oh, gave wow. him, handed him a guitar at Jazzathon many years ago and inspired Cameron to play. I'm looking so forward to hearing wow. Cameron at the festival. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's so many stories. Guys like Jonathan Robain, who sat in the audience and one day said, I want to perform on that stage. Yeah. Uh, two years later, got up on the stage, pulled out his guitar and started playing mind-blowing stories that come out of yeah. Jazzathon. And that's the thing that makes this platform so exciting, but also so inspiring, because it's not just about great music, because the, the thing is, it is the great music that gets the people coming over and Absolutely. over again and supporting you guys, but it is that you provide a platform for young talent, emerging talent, Completely disadvantaged unknown. talent. What's the mission around that? Why is this so important to you? It's, it's very important to keep the music of South Africa alive. I mean, you know, I'm so tired of people when they spend, we, um, you, you get asked to perform, mm. every pulls, everybody pulls out a cover of an a, um, international musician. Why can't we do um, local um, music mm. and play our South African great giants like um, Ezra and Kukana, Robbie Jansen, why can't we be playing their music? Because they've written music. Mm. But slowly but surely, actually, it's speeding up a whole, whole lot more now. There are lots more musicians playing our own, um, uh, you know, celebrating our own music, um, uh, traditional music. Mm -hmm. And more than that, um, they're all writing their own stuff. So a lot of South Africans are writing their own. So for me, if we don't take that legacy forward, then, then um, it's not going to work. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and it is something that we need to celebrate because music is such an integral part of, of culture and how we shape yeah. our communities, the, the stories we tell, the, the legacy we're able to impart onto yeah. future generations. Absolutely. See, Jazzathon has, has been, um, through the years, we, we start off every Thursday, for example, mm -hmm. with completely unknowns. People always say to us, why didn't you release the program? We say, why don't you come down? Even if, if I give you a few names, you're going to say, I don't know these people. Yeah, Two years yeah. later, you're going to tell me, oh, I know them. Yeah, yeah, I remember sure. when Judith Supuma first got onto stage at Jazzathon 20 years ago, people said, who's wow. that? She's an icon today. Salila Salata sent a message to me yesterday saying, oh, I'm so glad this, this festival started me off. You're these are, this are, I, I swear, you can go into Facebook right now. You see these stories. You get, um, I still get calls from the States. Um, there's, a, there's a musician in the States. Um, they, they basically get hold of me and say, Craig, we can't believe your festival is happening. We were there 20 years ago when you started. We started, I looked at the old program yesterday, three musicians per day over a period of four days. So that's, um, I think it was 12. about 12, 12 musicians yeah. in total. Today, we've got a, a minimum of 24 s uh, slots. Actually, we've got 32 slots. 32? 32. 32 slots from the Thursday to the Sunday. We've wow. got over 300 musicians performing on wow. the stage. We've got a 40-piece orchestra. We've got a 20-piece um, 
uh, what do they call this, uh, Little Giants. Little Giants, just to, to put you in the picture, Little Giants started off as one of the development angles of uh, jazz festival. 20 years later, they're still around, and you'll see these gems this afternoon and this morning. Crack what a, this uh, is what a mammoth task this must it's be fantastic. to be coordinating all of yeah. these musicians. Crazy. <laughs> well, it's time for me to, to step down and let the young ones take over. <laughs> it <laughs> must take a lot to put something like this together, but of it course does. we're going to be chatting about it. It is free to the public, which means that you get the opportunity to see all of this amazing talent yourself at the VNA Waterfront in Cape Town. That's from the 9th to the 12th of Jan. And like we said, tickets to the Jazzathon at the VNA Waterfront are absolutely free. There's a big charity component to it. They're doing amazing work, not only just with charity organizations, but also uplifting and promoting local talent and giving them uh, to you, putting them right in front of your faces. Plus there's a food court behind you, so you can stay there all day <laughs> long. People and stay there for long. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much well, for being with you, us, man. Craig. We're looking Thanks forward to the music as well. Really appreciate it. Oh.